All right, guys, Applebee's brought back their Irresistibles, and I'm here to find out just how irresistible is this. Woo! What to do, what to do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know if something new just came out, it's something new. We gotta talk about what's going on, everybody. Today, we got something new from Applebee's. You know, eating good in the neighborhood, or at least, <laughs> at least that's the tagline. But guys, Applebee's brought back the new Irresistibles, and they got about six different bowls six different flavors you can choose from. The one that I went with, guys, is this new grilled chicken and spinach alfredo. You can't really see it good here because it's all fogged up, hot, steamy, but I'm gonna show it to you guys. So guys, like I said, they got a bunch of different bowls, a bunch of different flavors they brought back. They got a Southwest chicken bowl, Southwest steak bowl, a Tex-Mex shrimp bowl, a homestyle chicken bowl, a crispy orange chicken bowl, and the crispy orange shrimp bowl. Just a little 401 for you, you know, for your information. They all look pretty good, but the one I got is this grilled chicken and spinach Alfredo bowl. Now, the reason why I got it, guys, is because it just looks tasty. Number one is chicken Alfredo, but number two, it's got a little bit of, you know, spinach little herbs to it, which is something that I wouldn't get as a kid, but you know, as you grow up, your flavor profile matures a little bit, and this one was calling my name. So, here's the first look at this thing, guys little reveal for you how's that look I'm not really getting the view I'm getting the view through the camera but how does that look to you guys it looks pretty good to me wow it's this this thing is full it's got a nice little weight to it now this is a grilled chicken and spinach alfredo bowl it's penne pasta tossed in a creamy spinach alfredo sauce then topped with juicy grilled chicken a blend of melted cheddar and parmesan cheeses and parsley price tag for this thing guys is $8.99 you know we respect the calories you know when it comes to pasta these things come with the punch so this is 1440 calories this is definitely a meal for two boom cut it in half you know do like what uh dietitians say when you get your meal cut it in half half to go for later and half for a meal now that's kind of the way to go but uh Ooh, I had to take a little smell. Right now, I'm getting that smoky chicken, guys. This thing came right off the grill. I'm liking this right off the bat. But how does it taste? Is this really that irresistible? Well, let's dive in. Hi, guys. I'm kind of excited about this one. I'm not going to lie. The, the aromas and the, the smoky flavor of this grilled chicken is hitting me. The size, the pasta, the whole thing. Where's my glass of wine? <laughs> Wait up. Wait dress. Where's my glass of wine, please? Speaking of wine, Applebee's does have these mucho drinks. Guys, I've done a review. Uh, check that out. I had a lot of fun doing that one, and they actually got a new spring flavors that I'm gonna check out too. So stay tuned, I'm gonna do that one too. But, on to this review. The grilled chicken and spinach Alfredo bowl. Let me get a nice big bite for you guys while I get this bite. If you find me for the first time, make sure to subscribe. I'm always doing food reviews. Letting you guys know what to get, what to skip. But here we go, guys. All right. Woo, woo. Little cheese pull action there. Here we go. Nice little bite there, guys. Some chicken, that pasta. Let's do it. Grilled chicken, spinach alfredo, irresistible from Applebee's. Here we go. Mmm. Chicken fresh. Penny pasta is hitting. The sauce? The sauce? I like the sauce. Nice little spinach flavor to it. Not too crazy, you know. I'm not the biggest spinach fan, but uh, I'm loving it, you know, to be honest with you guys. And then you're getting that layer of cheese all on the top. What's not to love here? I'm getting a little herbs on this thing. You know, they, they season this up right. Go back in here. Mm. Let me do one more bite. And I'm gonna score this up, I know what I'm working with here. Let's get some more of this cheese on here. Here we go. It's a nice little bite. We got some chicken underneath there. Big old bite of this pasta. Cheese all over the place, here we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
guys, I had enough shutting down the camera because we got a chat. <laughs> Usually you guys know when I shut down the camera because my socks just got blown off. You know, socks just boom, went out the window or you know, I'm foaming at the mouth. <laughs> I'm going crazy with the food and I gotta, I gotta black off the camera so you guys don't see what I do to this. This time we got a chat, okay? When I first took this bite of this grilled chicken and spinach alfredo bowl, number one, I'm hungry, but it tasted banging. Like I said, I smelled that smoky chicken flavor. All the aroma, all the ingredients, they vibe well together. Great little dish. As I kept going, guys, you know what happened, unfortunately? Because I kind of got a little remembrance of Applebee's and kind of why they haven't been sticking out as a franchise, right? Sometimes they just got a little middle of the road, right? This was one of those times. I could use a little bit more seasoning, a little bit more flavors. I don't know if it's maybe the, the you know cheddar cheese that they threw on top and kind of melted it. There's not really too many Italian chains. I'm thinking Olive Garden. Uh, who else? You, you know, name your little local Italian chain. They probably ain't putting just, what is this? Just cheddar cheese on top of the pasta dish, right? That's a given. I'm not gonna knock them too hard. Applebee's ain't out here trying to be an Italian chain, but it is what it is. It's kind of like a middle of the road um, entree, right? You get a lot of food. It kind of just reminds you of, you know, a couple in there getting something to eat. Right? I don't want to say it, but I got to say it. Sometimes the older couple in Applebee's eating good in the neighborhood, a little older crowd, right? It's kind of what it is. So Applebee's, if you're seeing this, right, you got to spice it up, make it a little bit more unique, but it's a good portion, good size, pretty good value. Flavor is just kind of middle of the road. So I'm going to give this a strong 7, 6.5, 7, 6.5, 7, 6.5. I was gonna say seven, but I'm gonna be a little critical. I'm gonna give this a 6.5, but a good 6.5. It's a pretty good value for $8.99. But again, the flavors are just okay. A little bit more to be desired. Is it irresistible? Wow, that's the question right there. And I gotta be honest with you guys. I gotta keep it all the way 100. I don't think it is necessarily irresistible. That being said, and that wraps up this review, I'm gonna have some more, but moderate your portions, right? So, I will say, one secret that maybe you guys know about, maybe you guys don't know about when it comes to Applebee's. Applebee's does have a ghost kitchen. It's an online portal, if you will, to select food items, right? One of which is a brand named Cosmic Wings. It's really Applebee's underneath, but you can only get it through Uber Eats right now, I believe. I did a review of Cosmic Wings, guys. Check that one out because that is, to me, a nice gem it's really Applebee's, but it's a nice gem. And I was really surprised by the wings. So check out that review. I had a nice kind of mukbang, ate a lot of different stuff from the menu just to give it a trial run and give you guys a 401 one of if you should get it. And that is one that you definitely should get. But guys, that's the review of their Irresistibles and the grilled chicken and spinach Alfredo bowl specifically. Hopefully you found it helpful for your next lunch, dinner, order your next Applebee's run. Let me know if it helps you out in the comment box below and also what else you guys want to see. But for today, that's the review. As always, if you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share it once, share it twice. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see next on something new and whether you're regular or a first timer, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell reminder. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.